Senegal's population age structure has a pyramidal shape, a trend caused by the young adult age group producing generations greater in size than their own. Because the population is growing with each generation, the replacement fertility rate is higher than the normal fertility rate. Senegal is in phase two of demographic transition because the death rate is slowly decreasing while the birth rate remains high. However, this graph shows that the rate of population growth is decreasing, implying that Senegal is on its way towards phase three as population control comes into effect. Despite a 20 times increase in GDP in the last 50 years, Senegal continues to struggle with poverty. This graph compares the IPAT graphs for the years 1998 and 2009, illustrating the dramatic increase in population and affluence and the unexpected decrease in patents. Instead of investing surplus money in technological advances, it seems that more funding is going towards agriculture, health, and education. Today, there is a small revolution for family planning occurring that aims to raise the standard of living and reduce infant and maternal mortality rates. The government is increasing its budget for reproductive health and family planning so that it can ultimately reduce Senegal's medical expenses. They have to stop the rising of food prices in this country. Food production in Senegal has been badly affected by drought. It is a country hard hit by climate change. Temperatures have risen by 1.6 degrees centigrade in the last 30 years. That is more than double the global average. There is ever present the danger of large-scale famine. Clearly, we could have a crisis in several parts of the world. Although Senegal has a relatively low carbon dioxide emission, it still suffers severely from climate change. This once fertile river valley is on the front lines of Senegal's fight against desertification. Rivers are drying up, grazing land for cattle is scarce, and the dry soil is hard to farm. Scientists blame climate change and poor farming practices for the desert's advance. Because of deforestation, there are not enough roots in the soil to prevent erosion. Therefore, the soil has become less rich and the region's agricultural productivity has decreased. Today, the beach has diminished so greatly that stairs are needed for people to reach the water. Each year there's a drop in the harvest. The soil is worn out partially due to poor crop rotation. For decades, we've just grown rice and tomatoes. Rice and tomatoes. People are finding new ways to adapt to the changing weather. Teachers are mobilizing children in the fight against the desert's onslaught. The yard of this elementary school built on a former landing strip had only dry, packed earth. But now small trees dot the schoolyard, along with special trash cans for biodegradable waste. As these boys water trees, a teacher gives them tips. Children are also encouraged to plant trees at home and teach their families how to compost. In 2007, the African Union initiated the project for the Great Green Wall, a long wall of trees and bushes from Senegal to Djibouti. 
Senegal has been participating in this for the last four years in an effort to replenish the tree population. Individual efforts are also underway, as local farmer Abdoulaye is busy planting mango trees in his backyard to stop the spread of the desert. Senegal has passed legislation to protect and prevent following environmental issues. This time for Africa.